plasma tree. Instead of simply copying and pasting it, however, the pattern commands can be used to quickly create multiple instances of geometry and accurately place them. In this design, I have a single link that I want to replicate in order to make five chains that are five links long. To do this, I'll use the rectangular pattern command, which can be enabled by either going to the toolbar here at the top or to the create dropdown and expanding the pattern flyout. I'll enable the command, and as a first step, I'll select a pattern type. The pattern type determines the types of objects you can pattern and can be set to either faces, bodies, features, or components. Since I have three components that I want to pattern, I'll set the pattern type to pattern components, select the three components from the browser, and enable the direction selection box. I'll zoom out. And you can see that the origin has become visible. You can select any linear edge of a model, sketch entity, or construction geometry as the direction. So for this design, I'll select the red X axis on the origin. Two drag arrows appear on the components, one parallel to the selected axis and one perpendicular to it. Since the rectangular pattern command will always allow patterning in two directions, when only a single direction is selected, the second direction will be automatically selected to be perpendicular to the first. If you want more control, however, you can set the second direction manually by either clicking another element or holding control and clicking it if a distance has already been set. While the second direction doesn't need to be perpendicular to the first, for this design, I'll select the blue Z axis on the origin as the second direction, and the second drag handle reorients along that axis. The drag handles, as well as the floating window and dialog box, can be used to set the distance of the pattern, but what that distance does is determined by the distance type. It's currently set to extents, so when I add a distance of 80 millimeters in the X direction, the instances are added up to that distance from original objects. Since the distance is measured between the first and last instance in this type, when I increase the quantity in the X direction to 5, the instances are added inside that distance and spaced evenly. I'll switch the distance type to spacing, and now the distance value is the space between each instance, 20 millimeters in this case. I'll add a distance of 15 to the Z direction and increase the quantity to 5 and notice that this time the new instances were added beyond the first chains rather than between them. The instance positioning can also be changed by changing the direction type. While in one direction all instances will be added to one side, but when I switch to symmetric, the instances are added evenly on both sides. For this example, however, I'll leave the direction type set to one direction. Finally, the suppress option, when checked, will allow you to hide specific instances by unchecking them in the drawing area. But for this lesson, I'll leave all the links showing and click OK to finish the feature.